Hi, my dear friends. I saw a wonderful story that I'd like to share with you. It's a story about Ruvain the stonecutter. Ruvain was a stonecutter who worked long hours and he would go to a mountain and he would chip and chip until finally he would have stones and he would give these stones, he would sell these stones to people and they would use them as walls and as foundations for their houses. One day a king comes near Ruvain's locale and he tells him, Ruvain, I'd like to purchase some stones. And Ruvain sees the king came in his chariot with his grandeur and everybody obeys his word. He says, wow, I wish I could be the king. Look how beautiful it is. And shush, a miracle happened and Ruvain turns into the king. Ruvain is enjoying himself. Everyone's listening to him, dressed in a million dollar attire. He's so proud of himself, so happy, ecstatic. All of a sudden, the sun starts to beam at his head and he sees that the sun is causing him a tremendous amount of discomfort. And he says, you know, I'd like to be the sun. And so a miracle happened and he turns into the sun and he was feeling very warm about himself. He was giving light to earth. He was giving warmth to trees and the like. And all of a sudden, a bunch of clouds gathered up under him and he was no longer able to illuminate the earth. And Ruvain said, wow, the clouds are more powerful than the sun. I want to be the clouds. And a miracle happened and he turns into the clouds. Nice fluffy cloud. He's jumping around in the air. He's all happy with himself. And then a strong wind came and blew him out. And he was gone. And he said, wow, winds are stronger than clouds. I want to be the wind. And so he turned into the wind. And he feels great to be the wind. He's making the leaves go back and forth until finally he comes across a big mountain. And he's unable to go to the other side of the mountain. And he says, wow, what a mountain. I wish I were a mountain. And when he turns into a mountain, he starts to feel somebody pounding at his back. He says, who in the world is pounding at his back? And what in the world is that noise? And he sees that it's a mountain cutter, a stone cutter. He's hitting against the mountain. Da, da. And he says, wow, I wish I were a stone cutter. And his wish was granted. And Ruven turned back into a stone cutter. At that point, Ruven understood a profound lesson. And what's the lesson? The lesson is be happy with who you are. Don't try to be something you're not. Many times we see those around us and they seem more successful than, than we are. And they have a different line of industry and they're more talented, etc. And we try to impersonate them, we try to be like them. We have to remember that we are we, we are not them. Hashem made us the way we are and we are perfect in Hashem's eyes. We have to try to be the best we that we can be and not try to be someone else. And by doing so, we'll be happy with ourselves. We'll realize our true value, which is so important in a time, you know, in a generation like this, to realize our own individuality, our own value, and to be happy with what Hashem has made us and to accept all that Hashem does because what Hashem does is always for the good.